shout out to the winners of the design challenge and a very big thank you to everyone who entered the design challenge i can assure you you are not living the same way you came right and i and i'm here to make sure of that okay we're about to have a lot of oh my god why didn't i think of that yeah <laughs> okay let's get started as soon as now mm. okay so I'm going to run you through this interaction again before we are going to start to redesign it so you see how it looks like, how it really looks like, okay? And the logic behind this, right? A lot of people skipped, like you, you know that what you were doing was wrong and you just like, ah, it's not possible. I'm here to show you possibilities in Figma, okay? Because there are a lot of um, interaction um, um options that you're not making use of right okay for example i'll hover on men right you see i can i can interact with different states of the child item of that navigation right see you see like the hover state yeah when i bring my mouse outside that box it's supposed to leave right same thing with the woman if i can interact when i bring my mouse outside it's supposed to leave do you get so like i can actually just you know across just switch between them right and yo it's cool same thing here here comes down it goes up yeah up. you should be able to always control use your click out for it to go up right so like there's an option there for it so basically and here you see this watch this on hover it gets dimmed when I remove my mouse, nothing happens, but something is happening, right? We're going to find out all of that right now, okay? So, this tutorial is going to be a little bit lengthy, so like most likely want to grab popcorn and just enjoy. And I expect everyone to redo their design challenge for the culture for the design culture and just post it out there. So, make sure that you are following and you are growing with the community, all right? So, let's get started okay now there's a lot of things i did like for example you see this stuff here this component here component instant i could actually just say okay display yes display check display turn up right i'll show you how i did that but like we could have we could have that let's just turn it on for now okay so we just start with the hero session First thing first, I use desktop 1440, right? Like normal desktop size, the most popular, right? Say home. I'm very big on I'm very big on naming your layer because I work with developers all the time and yo you don't like it when you don't name your layers. Okay. So first thing first we want to do is the navigation section like you very basic so you have a frame first okay have a frame so i'm just going to like be previewing it as we are doing it right we have a frame after the frame um we got first thing i worked on was the logo really i'll show you how i worked on the logo this is it here yep just two states and it's an after delay right okay okay do the logo let's see okay let's come inside here let's work it inside here create the size to this increase size to around 10 so see let's get to plus eight okay so we could actually just pick from one of the stuff i've set here uh my headings like i have all, I've always set my headings maybe not to the max but like to a degree to give me a sense of design system so i can be consistent across so let's say hoodie put this here okay so what i did was that I actually replaced this oo with a rectangle and you know invert it use outline you use shift x or you just come here remove the fill and put a stroke right and give it this curve here so like that's what i did and and of course you know it cannot work like that now. it has to be it's not illustrated that you can just um flatten and 
on group. It is even possible. It is not. So we're just going to make it single. Sorry, body. Then to the next GIS. Okay, so this is what we got. So this is our replacement. Just enter him. Fit in. You, you have access to your ruler. Well, let's make use of your ruler. So your X height. Or what, what, what did they call it? Airlines. Yeah, let's make sure your airlines are right. So basically, that's what's up. Okay, you can increase the uh, stroke. Okay, you can increase your stroke. I'm still waiting for a feature for these guys to have. So as you scale, the stroke outline scales with your design. It should be, should be something you could check here so you could scale. Your, your stroke could scale with your with your design. But like, okay, that's this is what we got now. Mine is a little bit bold. Let's just make it bold. Right? So cool. We'll increase the stroke to match that four points. Five, maybe. Cool. All right. Awesome. Okay. So let's just take it out. So we have this now. This, this, right? Like technically, our design is already looking good, but we need to turn it to a component. Before we turn it to a component, we can actually just flatten the whole thing. Like just flatten it, just so we can have this like this. Then we need to turn it into a component create components so when you create components you can now, then now take it out and then create a variant of that component sorry let's take that back so now you can now create a component right and when you create a component you so so we now have this right okay so what we can do here is we could create a component straight away but before we create the component we could flatten this and this just you know don't want anything changing just flatten this flatten this the reason we are flattening it is it's a thing so it can scale we can we can scale it Fonts don't you can't scale fonts like that. Point is you can't say okay, I want to scale the font. It's not going to work. Right? It's not going to work. So you flatten it so you can scale it, guys. Okay. Um then we just highlight everything and turn it into a component. So when we turn it into a component, it means that we can reduce this guy to this. You get and expand it so it means that we need two states the first state we need is this state here right so you make sure that your height matches your width so it's a perfect cycle okay and then you bring this guy here so now you create a variant of that why so you can create a different in a different state or you know, yeah, a different state where it's increased. Okay, so now we already have we have that already. So it means that we now need to add our prototype. So what I did was that I connected this to this and I added an after delay interaction. Okay, I just set it to say I think it was even in zero if I'm not mistaken. Let's check. Yeah, there's no zero, so it's like one millisecond. So like, the reason is the moment it enters, I just want it to load. You get no delay. Okay, so we'll just take it out. Working with linear, just want it to go plain. I don't want any ease in or ease out. Okay, so that's that. Then I called it logo. Since we already have one logo, let's call it logo redesign, right? So now you can now come to your asset panel and find for your logo redesign, and yo, it's somewhere.
If you can't, okay, find it, found it there. If you can't find it in your asset panel, easiest way, I'm looking at like these are like the purpose of all of these things I'm showing you. You could actually just come here and drag, right? And you have your, you have both your instance and your, you just drag the copy from in here. But if you're not careful, you might still go and drag. So while I am dragging, I'm holding my alt key to make sure it's a version I'm copying, right? It's an instance I'm copying outside. Okay, so like we already have this and boom. So you see, we have the set. Then I approached my, then I approached my, 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 my menu items. Sorry, my menu item. So what I did there was, I just, you know, man, right? I did something here quite unique. I kind of like use size 14 but if you notice something with all my size 14s there are there's like a letter spacing between them of three percent why because the moment you are making a character uh, uppercase you want spacing between them right it gives for more readability <clears throat> that kind of vibe so yeah that's what happened here so i'll just go there and set it back so 14 and then women do for women and do for I think 14 I use for 16. I choose 14 in about okay. In fact, <clears throat> we don't need this two for now. I'm going to tell you why because we need to work with this first, right? So what I did here first thing first was um i framed this of course we need to be in a frame i've set the constraint to center why because i want to increase the frame okay <clears throat> now teach you how you can even make this thing better okay so say <clears throat> you can make this auto layout okay i just made it auto layout and i created i turned it into a component right which means that I can set the padding between the left and the right. Okay, so I can just say, okay, 24. I want it 24 across, right? And maybe the top, I can say I want it 4. But that's looking like a lot. Say, like, let's give the frame, let's give the frame, that's the component. You know, it's kind of like a frame, but the component frame is shade and see what's going on. You see that then make it like this and you see that's what we have but i think we want it bigger than that so we might as well increase this into around 40 so it makes more sense she gets right and the reason i made it a component uh, the reason i made it auto layout is so when you are typing it could expand so like in case situations where you want to add other menu items right you could actually expand right so um yeah and how that works is that your text inside has to be set to huge i'm just making sure i'm not leaving anything out and your your overall component needs to set to huge there's a reason for that so in case you combine okay i'll explain that later okay so let's just take this out let's I already got this let's set the so nothing let's just be there let's be nothing right so take it out take it out i will create a variant again and then set that one to and set the field to black black and then set the color the item inside to white so we can have Right, and now after that, I added an interaction here, which was, I said, okay, I want this guy to, on hovering, I want you to change for me, right? On hovering, I want you to change. Okay, and I can say, okay, ease out, right? Then bring it here, I just dragged though, I dragged in with my alt key held, using Mac. I don't know, yeah, I would make option or so. Okay, or well, I could just come here and find it. I could call this um, 
menu item item redesign right so actually if I need this want to now about everything that is happening one of the things I make sure I do is to only set my grid is the reason for that if you check this design over here I have my grid turned on always like not turned on always but like set right to make sure there's consistency across so we are going to create that same grid here say column grid made it 12 I made my 120 there about yeah it's perfect and then my gutter was 24 okay so we could see this guy should enter here so like you actually need to know how this stuff works so we're not violating our grid trust me we're not provided that this guy here hits the bar so it works it still works very much okay and right <clears throat> so here our inside text here we can have a property a content property that says text so we can actually just change the text without really entering the entering the components and overriding we're going to like manually override we're still overriding it but like in a smarter way from the panel so we can duplicate then duplicate again then you can say then we can turn everything here to auto layout now this is the reason if i should do this everything is expanding as it should say women expanding as it should about right so we have that already okay you not know, like i'm just supposed to go straight to the point but like yo there's no straight to the point here you want to be good in interaction stop getting bored and watch this okay so um we could we could send this to the center of the frame then to the center of the frame and we have this see okay something is not actually right here the, because the way we're not supposed to use smart animates nope now we're not supposed to use smart animates for the sorry we'll just use linear instead and see how it works it's somehow like glitching my text for some reason i don't know why that <clears throat> i don't know why that is oh my god the dissolve is set to 800 let's bring it around 200 milliseconds okay better better oh my god we could even say 300 and leave it to ease out so it's giving me this glitchy this fuzzy effect i did not like that okay so we game all right um moving forward moving forward so yeah we have this and we're going to discuss how i did the drop down stuff right and how you can those effects that you've never touched in your life you touch them today so we'll just come here and copy this so guys i used um for that i used feather icons of course you see it's stroke now so like okay mercy but i use feather icons i don't going to paste this here I use feather icons guys and that was all okay so now here is the gist we have like i'm going to copy one of this here so you know how the story works so i'll delete this guy here normally this is the drop down that we have but now based on what we are trying to achieve here right based on what we are trying to achieve say number one for a start that's not white that's kind of like a shade of a gray shade of gray more like grayish like shade of gray it's not like thin but okay you could see shade of black so um yeah we got this now the idea is we want that stuff to overlap and still give us a still blend right okay now remember for this interaction to work, everything I explained to you starting this video, you can't do it without it being a component. It's impossible, right? 
you have to create multiple frames that is not scalable. That is not scalable. Now I'll show you. It's one thing to design, it's another thing to design the right way. Okay. So we'll turn this to a component. Why are we turning this to a component? So whenever we change anything, it's going to reflect on all the instances. So we'll copy this, come here, paste, and that's all we need to do. Okay. Now I can set this thing here to I can say drag to this on white hovering. I want to I want you I want them to I want I want you to open the overlay for me and lap it smooth and nice to get and it's not going to be white hovering it's going to be white mouse enter right and there's going to be another one i'll show you okay we don't need background here we don't need any of those things so remember guys what is giving is this glass this glass effect is because i will set the background to we reduce the opacity of the background to around 81 and we added an effect a blur effect right we clicked here and say a um, background blur and we made it 30 percent guys that's what we did okay um right so we're going to test this out and see how it works you see okay something is not quite right so i think the whole i don't know why the whole i just stop really reacting to it but <clears throat> of course we're going to figure it out in it right so mm, check check mouse enter when the mouse enters okay oh shit all right so something is not right here so i just noticed that we need to actually leave this particular um item menu item checked on why so they can be this you know on hover it overlaps and it comes with that state so it means that we can actually go around and you get see the moment i leave it leaves do you understand and the reason it's leaving is because there's an interaction to this okay there's an interaction to this guy here to this element here if you check the prototype section there is an interaction that says my mouse leave close overlay delay for 400 seconds for 200 seconds so in case they want to go back will not rush the user okay so like that's why why i why whenever i hover and i just leave it goes but it does not go immediately you get you can increase your delay seconds okay and that's how i was able to achieve that guys now the beauty of this is that you can actually you could actually just duplicate all true all true and true okay you can duplicate all true and true then say this to be about one i don't know whether the name clash like i'm just like um new man one mm, man one so yeah make sure you change the first thing, first thing you want to do is to change the state of of the active frames okay see see that the moment you do that you are see that now it's switching but this guy is not for some reason it's still there static right it means that we've not set these guys here to do what they should do okay so you can send this here and you know set it appropriately then to the next sorry that's so this man here will make sure that it's properly set so how it should be to so make sure it's on it's not on top we want mouse enter we want dissolve 
want instant, you want to solve, and then you know, it's like that. I will do the same thing for the next about saying about to so here. Um, we want mouse enter, we want to solve, we want to set appropriately, and then boom. Okay, so it means that we can now say, Okay, you see this? It's happening real good. See, well, now the problem is he actually would not want to close, right? Because if I'm opening overlay here and I'm telling this one to open another overlay, it means that overlay is overlaying on overlay, <laughs> overlay is overlaying on another overlay. But, like, yo, so we got to fix that. How do we fix that? We make sure that every other component in a particular, every other menu item in a particular um, mega menu is not set to open overlay, it's set to swap overlay. It's beautiful. So you just hold your shift key, so click and click on the other one so you can change it together and say swap overlay. You can do the same thing for here, here and say swap overlay, swap overlay. Now, so whenever, so individually, they get to open. It means that here like this, all of them are opening. This is open. But every other two, every other two are swapping. Do you get? Here is opening, these two are swapping. So it means that they are not, they are not, you get it just, okay. All right, you do this, just do this. Just make sure you do this, practicalize it. Okay, so we'll move on to the next, would be the uh -oh. menu, menu item. Yeah, the search, sorry, the search, the search panel. A lot of people got the color wrong for, I don't know why, like, but you, it's an outline with a very light shade of, the back a more lighter shade of the background so like you fix your design and the same whole menu stuff here you can just you know replicate it so um, another thing again i should not miss out on teaching you how to do is my menu items how i was able to do the state it's too similar to this that's the thing if you can understand this navigation area you are good to go you Okay, I was able to say vanilla. Yo, I was just going to explain it for you instead of doing it. Where is it? Where is the menu? Okay, okay, it's here. So I'll just paste another one here so you see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so yeah, like the same thing, but like with different created a state here, created a variant, created a component, created a variant on hover. Goes, goes lighter to get this is my default state this is my hover state if i bring it here it makes more sense it's outside that's why it's not making sense it's looking like it's light too light but here perfect okay we make either make this one even deeper you could do your call, call accessibility testing if it does not work for you like that then boom i just realized we even made a mistake okay this stuff was set different. You can leave yours to pass through or normal, right? Then leave this guy to, to normal. To normal, right? And then turn it everything as you should. You can make this guy lighter. You can make this other guy deeper. Okay, so it means that we could take this out. And I always make sure to set my to give them a text contents um, like this text text property so so they can only just you know fill in the vanilla hoodie <clears throat> so you know they can easily just fill in the items without really entering the component right you just come here and you change to whatever you want it to be at this area here okay guys 
Okay, my voice is getting low a little bit. I'm getting really, a little bit exhausted. exhausted and so, you just learn everything you need to learn here. And as for the menu, this one here, the search item, all you need to do is to set this to your prototype overlay. All you need to do is to set it to overlay and and um, change your from instant dissolve from dissolve or instance take it to moving and let's move from bottom top from bottom yes from up down okay it says it's linear however you want to keep make an interaction it could be ease out right i went for linear just keep it plain okay so uh that's that then what else same thing with the cast item here okay some people like you your cat is not even still cutting cat is not cutting so i made this stuff around 56 otherwise than 54 okay there's no appropriate sizing so whatever i did here is it 56 said it supposed to be 56 like okay and just you know this guy here was set to unclick close overlay yes it's possible this guy here and click close overlay just to close the whole thing for you right and then this guy there's no major interaction there okay so it means that when we just when we turn on this it comes like this and close remember it's also carrying the frosted effect the background blur effect where it sets to 30 and it's set to 85 percent okay so like you'll be good guys we're good so moving on to the picture yes so can you permit me to actually copy this picture and paste here so this is the part where i actually need to like go far a little bit see this is the picture it's already looking beautiful but we need to send it back hmm. okay everybody notice that okay let me play my old prototype you notice that as i am moving nothing is moving when it hits the end of the hoodie it starts to move <laughs> okay i'll show you now you know how to do it now okay um okay say say um Okay, so I got distracted a little bit. Now, what we need to do here is simple, very simple, right? All I just need to do is to draw a frame inside all of this, right? I just need a frame inside all of this. Oh, and I don't want it to be in a... Okay, see, how do I draw this frame? Like this? So we have a frame. Sorry, I just want to. I don't. I want to have a frame and to pack inside the frame, like yeah. And then just make sure my frame is not overlapping with my navigation bar. You see, I have her inside the frame. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how interesting this stuff can get. Notes, I, I, the image I uploaded on the drive, a lot of people said that the email is not there. Why? Because you are seeing a flip version. We flipped it, shift H, right? So, yeah, we flipped it. This, so, this is the version you now have when you flip it. Okay, so yeah. <clears throat> Let me explain the interaction now. Let me remove this line. I wonder if the line is in there. <clears throat> okay. See, check this out. This is the design. Normally, it should just move, right? Well, we don't want that. We do not want that. We want it to be that. So remember, this image is actually bigger inside that frame. The frame is just clipping it. The two frames is in, inside is clipping it. So if I unlock the clip here, uncheck the clip here, you see the, the pictures are everywhere, right? So like the two frames are 
flipping it. So it means that there's an overflow. So the recent Figma update actually takes us to this prototype session to show us where you can actually set what how do you want your overflow to do you want to set an overflow for horizontal or vertical or both directions? It means that if I say vertical, it means that I actually have overlay effect vertically. Right? Well now it even gets trickier. So if it does not hit the end, it cannot move. So yeah, we means that if I actually increase this, and guys, we always be careful whenever you want to increase your element, so as for your other your frame, so as for your other element not to distort. You can just press you can press enter on your frame so i like everything and you set the constraint to top so when you are increasing your it does not distort t gets so now we increase it and you see if it does not if it does not hit the bottom it's a normal move t get beautiful but now people were like people were like uh but we're going to put a text there. So like, how do you plan to do that? There's a way. So, okay. I'm going to, this is my text here, guys. Guys, I did this for my previous challenge. Like, there are people missed it, it's even baffling. So I'll just copy the, all this, right? And I'll bring it here, to this way, and I'll paste. And I'll bring it down. For a start, guys, guys, guys. This guy here, all I had to do here was set my blend mode to difference. All I had to do. Why? Because when you scroll, I want the premium effect to, to hit everywhere. Now you see that I'm trying to scroll now. Everything is scrolling together. But that's not what we really want, is it? So it means that we could actually make the inside element fixed. So you go to your prototype section, you say position, fix, stay in one place, stay in place right so it means that we could actually get this moving and okay all right so that's what i did there guys that's what i did there and yo a lot of people got the font wrong it's popping bold 96 i use percentage value here to make sure i line height the more your font gets big the less line height it needs okay the more, the more your font is small, the smaller your font, the more line height needs for readability. Take note of that. Okay, so yeah, guys, that's what I did for this section. But now people, people are, some people here are like, yo, but there's, but there's an overlay there. How on earth did you do the overlay? Right? How do, how do I even do the overlay? Actually, I need to check. There's an overlay there. Oh my god. This this effect here, one, two, three, are all clicked to a frame. Right? Now that frame is what is carrying the overlay. Spoiler alert. So you can like take it down, increase it up a little, right? And move this to its appropriate place where it hits the grid. And you took it to violate your this thing if you actually know what you're doing okay so I have this so now right now people are not sure if okay this is the redesign okay so now like you give your overlay I create a few effects here I made it linear I just swapped it from here from here <laughs> I increase this a little bit. I'll bring this down to make sure to so begin that place. See, and now you see we have our see the blend. But I'm still getting this this line there. I think what I did was I would give the a bottom stroke. But this is like just a a hack, right? A bottom stroke. I make it really white and I think that should almost go away it's not going away so we could actually give this same guy here bottom stroke and see if it does go away I make it white our problem is gone so yeah 
indicates guys so you can scroll and it goes through and yes to be like okay okay thank you for that how did you do this okay simple simple how i did that was tricky or simple just explain with this like no time for so created this first of course and i gave it the background blur of 17 and reduce the opacity to 50 percent this is zero zero okay at this point here i increase the opacity to 80 percent that's why when you hover on it it gets darker for now people like the arrow that is moving like flash uh, so if i should increase this let me increase this so when i unclick you see what's happening if i unclick this content you see that there's a arrow there's arrow somewhere there's array here but the array here is is your opacity set to zero why because i want cd if i can put this on slow motion it's dissolving in while it's getting big so this thing is actually small here it could even actually make it smaller and you see okay so reflect reflect the other side but like if we call it we call in this instance here so this is like has to be clipped off so it does not show we can bring this here increase put in the first property and see see so something actually is not right uh what's wrong what's wrong click effect okay it was not clean it okay so like you you could actually set this to be very small and you see the effect now it feels because you see from small it expands and it enters the other side so it means that you i could actually say let me unclip everything let me explain this thing like very well there's two arrows here there's one set to opacity zero let me bring this 100 it's there right and there's another one at the front right now the one this one here at the front is this one here but how i was able to do it it started over again so we get it now we only have one component this is the one up this one here i created a duplicate an instance a variant sorry not an instance a variant okay and I move this guy here straight in like this right and I increase the size to exactly the size here which is 50 50 so you make sure it's 50 50 and you make sure it's aligned appropriately like it's matching the same property this is carrying so after that you now say send let's click the prototype we come here Y hovering send there send here yeah. i want it to be smart and neat okay no okay what i want it to be smart but the effect will be quick that's the flash feeling you got so yeah we could say this see see it's fast but now it's coming back okay let's fix that i did the coming back to be so on this, when you leave, on mouse leave, so we need to set the mouse leave effect. On mouse leave, mouse leave, I want you to just dissolve back to its initial state. They will not notice, they cannot know. Let's see, it's out. Do you see? It means that if I actually clip these contents now, right, and this guy here, sets the opacity to zero you can't know that it's coming back because the leave effect is dissolving back to the state here you cannot tell it's hard see so something of course is not right we are going to fix in a bit okay set take it out 
something is not working properly. Okay, what's that? What's that? Mouse leave dissolve. Yeah, perfect. So why am I? Is it is the component overriding? Oh yeah, it is overriding. Let's set it zero zero. Maybe hopefully it works. So yeah, so we have this 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 this. this. So the leave effects. There's something wrong with the leave effect. But initially, it's nothing wrong. Why for green effect? Is there anything wrong here? Quick. Okay. Okay. Make the mouse back down. Okay, something is not right. We'll delete this component. Create another one. Bring it back up. Okay, we just shift this. This. Let's turn this back to fifty. Make sure it's properly aligned. Make this guy smaller. Okay, and then see from here. Why who brings then it's the next one smart animate why who brings okay and then basically I should do it like I should do it so I'll clip this two okay working now but like we need to set this back to so only dissolve for us means why when mouth leaves just dissolve for us in peace okay see working now it means that this guy here needs to be set the hover effect still needs to be set too quick so it gets the flash effect you see that then from here and i'll say make this guy darker when he's going over the one see that's guys that's how i was able to achieve it all right so you see with problems like this actually just do it again and make sure that we are not having any issue i don't give up like that it's not I don't give up like that okay so we've done that <sighs> we've done that we've done that and yes i don't think i need to explain this screen here it's still the same thing. I use the same effect here. Yeah. The, the beauty of making stuff components or of making stuff components that you can use them anywhere and it works. Right? And like you could actually take it anywhere, increase it the way you want to. Now I say I'm increasing it, it's not stick to the center. So it means that we need to actually set it and just the center. Anywhere you increase it, it will always work and it will always interact. It will always animate. So guys, that's the fix for this guy here. But the only difference is that when I move this guy there, when I move this guy somewhere there, I give it a stroke. Sorry. It's supposed to be here. When I move that guy here, I give it a stroke. So you see, I can always increase the let's give you the same effect. So and you please always make it rounded. The idea was to make it rounded. No, you see. So thank you very much for that. Now you know how to do that one. Moving on to the next, which is the I'm not going to explain all. I'm just going to explain the first one and this one maybe, and then I'm done because I'm pretty much exhausted right now. And uh, say okay, the first one is basics. I'm just going to copy it here. No, in fact, I'm just going to explain it to you and you guys will figure it out, right? So what I did was that for a start, I added a display property, right? So display property like this comes with, it can only happen when you have a yes and no, not like a boolean, it's a boolean, right? So what I did was that I came here and I'm like, you know what? I want to create a property. So something is happening they're conflicting wonder why they're conflicting that's a problem i'll fix it now 
so here what i do was that i came here and i'm like okay pay me a variant property that says display the first one was set to no which is this guy here no and this one here will be set to yes yes right so that way we can actually delete this one we have display yes and no this one is set to no this one is set to yes so it means that whenever you go to your board you can easily so we can just drag this here and just make it okay you can easily just stop okay is it animating is it not animating so how it works how it works is that i actually just have this as my default and i create a variant that i'll just you know shift right from one place so i'll enter it and i'll show you how i did it let me make it 100 so you see what's going on here so it's not totally shift to the edge i just made it i just made the opacity zero right i just made the opacity zero right and it blends well like yo it blends really well see now i wonder why that happened like that okay so See, it blends really well. It's not coming from outside um Sokoto, it's somewhere here. I'll show you something else I did that make that makes this stuff really interesting. Okay, so I added a mouse lead effect on this, which means that see if I said go to women, this is like the original design. If I go to popular hoodie, if I leave here. Yeah, and I come back to that session, the animates again. So there's a little effect that sends it back to its display no um, variant. Okay, so yeah, that's like what I did for all of them. So if I go to the prototype session, you see that there's mouse mouse lead effect that says okay, change to change to where change to the back, I change to the display. No, right? I did that for all of them. This guy here, I did the same thing, right? So, but the difference between this is that I actually made it interesting. If I open you see he came out that way and this guy here this is kind of like a little bit special based on the fact that it's actually I'm animating a an instance okay and the instance this is the instance what I did here was pretty much simple added an overlay to the background itself to the image itself and created a variant and made it bring it to this point and I added an icon here simple right and boom we have this uh, effect we have this effect it's as simple as that okay and it sets to soft light that's why it's giving this feel here that's why it's giving this feel really that's why it's giving this feel right so that's what I did okay guys so basically I think that's what's up and for the which one which other thing am i explaining and for this guy here it's pretty much simple i think this stuff doesn't really make sense to me i have better ideas but i was rushing to release the challenge but simple you create a normal circle and then you kind of like so when you create a circle i'll create a circle outside there so you see so i have circle remove the field for a stroke for a stroke normally i will just shift x okay you see these dots here and arc dots you can actually increase it and then from the ratio from the ratio point here you can send it to the end where you have access to to the start point and the sweep point the sweep point is to like you know but for some reason you've not been able to figma has not made it possible to animate this i don't know whether it's just me but you can't animate this just yet you can but like me ro rotating but i don't think you can animate this point the sweep point yet i don't think so okay so um yeah that's what i did so you know i was able to create this then another instance another state variant with you know pushing it out same thing here i you know so the box and and the text one is carrying the text one is not now this one here my mind is a little bit like yo the devil is in the details always pay attention to details so if you see my hover effect here so on my click effect it expands it comes out 
why because there's already check sign here smaller with zero opacity so it checks like see the back state and in state it's amazing right so yeah so basically that's what we did and yo guys i'm so excited and by all means watch this video fix your designs and you will do great thank you so much for participating one more time right our next challenge is going to be on ai it's already cooking so prepare yourself brace yourself up i'm going to let's win this let's grow let's become better versions of ourselves and i trust wood but i trust right now we are preparing ourselves for international opportunities like whether national or international or we're preparing ourselves to um not put a limit to our imagination so we can solve problems better right so thank you so much for watching this video if you stayed up to this time have a good day